guys, this is a pretty spontaneous video. Um, I try to do um, recording audio and video at the same time, but that doesn't work. You can only use one recording app at a time on my phone. And I noticed there's still that white noisy thing going on, but people don't seem to mind it. So, I'll probably make a better version of this video later, but I was just in the mood for some art, so I wanted to show you what I've been doing in this sketchbook. Another Strathmore sketchbook. This one is drawing paper, medium surface, 50 sheets, it's a 300 series. I still don't really know what the series means. I'm not enough of a hardcore artist to really know, but I do know that this paper is perfect for my pen drawings, which is what I like to do the most, so. I already did a video showing this one. This was the first one I did. I did it on November 30th, after I was inspired by um, Elsa's to do uh, Elsa's first Entangle video to do more um, art videos on my channel. And I've been in a really artsy mood uh, recently because I started a new series on, that's what I call it, on Instagram, my art account, called Embracing Imperfections. So I just go, I just draw, and even if, like, my hand gets like smudges the ink or it doesn't come out exactly the way I wanted, I post it anyways. So the idea is liking it for what it is. And that other people will like it too. So. This was a very basic concept sketch for a project I worked on for my grandpa's um, Christmas present. Because he's my favorite storyteller. And then this was something I was making, the idea was that it was like roads, and this was the sun. But uh, I dropped water on it, and I really hated this part. Um, so I did post this on Instagram. I call it the classic conundrum of whether to finish something you already hate. This also was one thing, and then it was another thing, and then it was nothing. So... And this was the first thing that I was really satisfied with after the first one. People say that it looks like a dragon. And I think that's pretty cool. I just called it, look what grew out of my pen. <laughs> I did this on the 1st of January. So I started with um, these lines that came out like this. And then I slowly um, made some more lines, like leafy things attached, and then I just filled in stuff along the lines, and then made some extra stuff growing out with the, the leafy shape that I really like. So I think I'll leave this one black and white and we'll color it in. I rather like it the way it is. And then this is the first of that series, um, Embracing Imperfections, as you can uh, tell. These lines are not totally straight, and the pen lines are smeared here and here. There's wax, I think, on here. There's like, it's going over and stuff. It's not symmetrical and whatever. But the basic idea was that I drew something with parts of it that I liked. And so, as a whole, it looks pretty cool when you just look at it from far away as a whole picture and not as parts. It looks pretty decent. People seem to like it. This one, uh, hands. I originally posted this as black and white, calling it Mechanical Fish. I did this one on January 30th. Um, 
this really? This one, this one was January 28th. And I did, um, this one, um, while I was still finishing up my other sketchbook. And then these ones I've been doing since then. So, I did this one first, and I just kind of created this first triangle shape. And then everything else grew out of it, and I was going to, like, fill the whole page with triangle stuff. But then, as I was looking at it, I realized it kind of resembled a fish. So then I drew this one up here, this one down here. And I called it Mechanical Fish, as I said, posted it, and then colored it in later because, um, I felt like it. <laughs> I could have colored in these little bubbles, but I wanted to leave them that way. So I did like the eyes on them. Here, and they'll have a roundy tail and some fins. satisfied with that one. This one just started out with this shape here. I knew it was going to be some amoeba type thing. And I just made all these different wiggly shapes and then I filled it in with these squiggly lines connecting it all together like mesh or something. And then I added circles, or shapes inside the shapes, and then I just fill each of them in with really simple patterns. Some people that do Zentangle, I know, are really good at creating interesting and intricate patterns inside of things, but that's not really my style. Um, I prefer to do more repetitive things, like lots of different stripes or whatever, but at different angles and in different ways so that it doesn't seem repetitive, kind of. <laughs> so, this one was also January 30th. And this one was January 30th. I did this, um, just really quickly. <laughs> you stole my heart away. I didn't say you could. But who allows a thief to steal all that they would? Me, apparently. And here I've got a hole. My heart used to be in this guy stealing my heart away. And then this weird planty thing. I don't know what the point of this was. I just sort of did it on a whim. So, people think it's really sad. I'm like, it's just silly. This one. This one I did while playing Wizard 101. <laughs> I did the triangle first. And then I did um, these. Lines again, and then the opposite way, and the opposite way again, so it goes ch 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 kind of. <laughs> um, and then I did the dots, and then I filled it in. So, with I did the start with the inside, so I did zigzaggies for three, and then stripes for three medium, close, and farther spaced, and ziggy zaggies for three, and then stripes for three, medium, close, and farther spaced. And I just called this pyramid, very simple, and it was just kind of about the contrast of dots, a roundy, friendly shape, and hard lines of a triangle shape. I did this one on the 30th. Or finished it on the first page just came out. And this one also. I just started out with these circles in the middle and started creating flower type shaped things around them. In the end, I think I like this one the best actually. The starry one. And then I traced around a bowl it's, or a mug, I think to make the circles and then did the stripes uh, afterward and it doesn't really it doesn't really mean anything it's just you know, trying something and didn't work out so I just made this pattern I think this one's really ugly 
but whatever. I just go with with whatever, and I post it anyways. I mean, you can see it's very imperfect. Um, but I'm embracing imperfections. And then this, I was trying out um, one of my fountain pens, and I got ink all over my fingers. It leaks pretty badly. But I was just testing out if it still works, and clearly it does still work. I'll probably eventually do something with this side of the page. And this one on February 2nd started with this square or the corner and then these lines and then I did the bumps here and then I did the circle traced around something right and then the squiggles and then I did these ribbon type things with the interesting shapes or the, you know, fat, thin, fat, thin and then I did, actually no, I did this part first and then the ribbons and then I filled in this with squiggles and then I did the lines after that and I called this one unraveling so it's like this is the world this is like a sunset or something, moonset, <laughs> just that basic idea, and then the threads of the world are unraveling. So, I really like this one, I like um, the way I posted it, um, I made this look like watercolors, and I really like that. I think it looks pretty cool, for something pretty simple. Then, this one I called not a starfish, because my friend said it looked like a starfish. It was going to be a flower type thing, but then I filled in these dots, and then I made these patterns, and I posted it um, with the patterns empty, black and white, and then I colored it in and posted it in colors. Ugh, my hands get cramped from staying in the one position. So I started with this one, and then there's a mistake here. This one is missing the blue layer, but hey, whatever. And this starry thing, and triangles. I hate pink, so I'm trying to use it more. Otherwise, I'd never use it. And then yellow and red. It's a very orangey red that I have. And then these are filled in with some more and some are dark green and light green stripes and I've, I tried to make it fairly even for the stripes and the not stripes so that was this one and I signed it on this side in case I wanted to fill in this side with something later I don't know, I might leave it open I kind of like the contrast between busy and not busy but we'll see and this one I did on the 10th. I started with this circle. Then I made these leafy shapes. This. Then these ones. And this tree coming out. Then I turned these into mountains and these funny sky and the stars. And then I drew shape of the lady, and then I filled in her hair, then I did the lips and the eye, and then I filled this in with color, and then I did this part last of all. It's almost, this one's called Moon Over You, and it's almost like she's dreaming it. So it's either like this is real, or it's a dream. It could be whatever. I like these mountains and the tree and the stars. Oh, that part came out. She has a small nose and a huge chin, but whatever. It's conceptual, so it's okay. And this is what I 
was working on for my intro, and I drew this random bleeding star afterwards. Um, the colors in this are light blue, blue, and green for here. And this is purple, purple, and green. And then I drew this random sneaky thing after also. I didn't sign it because it's just very random and not meant to be anything. It's just I did um, pictures of the stages, so it'll be like a stop motion logo thing. Then this is the one I did for Valentine's Day on the 13th. So yesterday, well no, two days ago now because it's like 1.30 in the morning. And this doesn't show, but this is actually very vibrant red. Um, so I drew the heart, and I drew these veiny type things, and then I drew these drippy things. And then I filled it in with red pen and burgundy pen and black, and then I did ink for the spaces, and then I did flip this, and then water to make the ink drip because I like drippy and watercolors itself would be too wet for this paper because it's pretty thin so I just did ink because it doesn't have to be as watery so. then this one is called Little Friends <laughs> Bumblebee, butterfly. I filled this one in with colored pencils, which are way less of good quality of my watercolor pencils. <laughs> but whatever. This funky flower type thing in the grass. I really like that I did part of the green and part of the purple. My Butterfly looks a little weird, I think, because I think the color choice was not the best, but anyways, also did this one on the 13th, I finished it, I finished on the 13th, and this is the one that I was working on today, because my sister complained that my heart was too sad, so I made these happy hearts for her, <laughs> and I just, um, this is as far as I got. I don't know if I'll actually finish this. I might just leave it as it is. Maybe I'll color it in a bit. Tomorrow I'll probably work on a new drawing. So. That was all. This is my page that I put underneath so it doesn't bleed through to the other ones. Some random poetry over here. It's from my heart. See you guys later.